Now, since the 1.1.0 patch for Diablo 4, things have taken a turn for the worst uh, in Diablo 4. The Metacritic score going from a 9 down to a 3.5 and dropping daily. We have a new hotfix which was applied last night. We also have, guys, a campfire chat coming this weekend. I think it's Friday, actually, where the no doubt is going to backtrack on everything they have done within the 1.1.0 patch. Today, guys, we get into it all. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we'll firstly start with a hotfix, which is was applied last night, I believe. Uh, too late for me to do a video on it. I just looked at my phone and thought, are they really gonna change a few things? They're gonna revert anything that they did. I looked at it and thought, yeah, well, pointless. Okay, so the hotfix, as you can see on the screen now, hotfix one, July 18th and 19th, 2023. This is being applied to your current version of the game, which is the 1.1.0 version. Bug fixes. Fix an issue where the overall drop rate of Cinder's in how tide was lowered, well, lower than intended. This was definitely, I'm actually glad they fixed this. I mean, I ain't really fussed about the how tide changes. I do think it probably needed a change. I thought initially when I first went into the how tide post 1.1.0 that enemies were, well, meant to drop at a lower rate in regards to cinders. Uh, I'm glad that is being fixed now because I literally did a how tide for half an hour, 30 minutes on my necro bone, slaying everything. I got just about 250 cinders in half an hour. That is just <laughs> that's just not good. So yes, I'm glad it's been restored back to normal, so that's good. Fix an issue where seeds of hatred could be collected at an extreme rate when using the hatred chosen buff against necromancer minions and druid pets. This buff has now been re-enabled with this hotfix, a miscellaneous further stability improvements. So yes guys, that is the hotfix, the first hotfix since the 1.1.0 patch. And no, it hasn't reverted any of the stupid changes that were made to the game. Okay, so we're going to talk about the campfire chat, which is coming uh, July 21st. This is basically just devs sitting there, no doubt talking about the 1.1.0 patch and their decisions behind what they've done in regards to nerfing more, more or less everything across the board, which for me... I mean, there's no excusing. I absolutely have no doubt whatsoever. I will tune in. I will watch this. I got I to gotta watch them backtrack because that's what they're going to do. They're just going to try and make excuses of why they've done this. Uh, why they've basically made the game less fun for the player who we play the game for fun. We play the game for fun. Patch 1.1.0. Fixing an issue where players were having fun. That's basically it, guys. That is basically it. Unless they... Well, suggest that they're going to improve things. They're going to actually revert a couple changes. Not even buff certain aspects that need buffing instead of nerfing things which do not need to be nerfed. Yes, for sure, there's the 1% of players, those min-max players who could absolutely wreck Uber Lilith in about a minute, even under. Fair enough. But when it affects the entire casual player base for Diablo 4, it's not a good thing for the game. And it's up no doubt that they're just going to backtrack on everything they've done within this 1.1.0 patch within this campfire chat, which again is July 21st, which is tomorrow. So yes, guys, and I mean... It's, it's proven point. Yes, there's some people that are sucking diggy diggy diggy. Uh, some people that are brown nosing. Some people that will just suck up everything they do. It's like this with Destiny 2 and Bungie at the same time. But no matter what they do, there's always going to be that small portion of people that just suck up everything they do. Thankfully, people are waking up and realising we paid a lot of money for this game. We paid a lot of money to have fun. We paid a lot of money to play a game we want to play. We haven't paid a lot of money for them to strip us of that fun we are having. Yes, it's their game. Yes, they have the right to try and balance things. But when that balancing goes bad, when that balancing goes wrong, I feel they need to step up and correct the mistakes that they have made. And these ain't minor mistakes, people. These are not minor mistakes. If they were, why is there a community uproar in favour of like 95 to 5% against what they've done within this 1.1.0 patch? I haven't spoken to a single person who isn't deluded, who's happy with the majority of these changes. Yes, 1.1.0 did include some decent changes. It did. It included some good changes. 
I mean, I ain't even really against the XP change. I mean, yes, the XP changes suck. That doesn't bother me too much, though. I mean, if they're going to make the game longer and harder, that's still a grind we was all willing to do before we even played the game. If they set out those XP changes, if those XP changes, which were implemented with 1.1.0, were base standard when we started playing the game, we wouldn't be any other wiser. So the XP changes don't really bother me that much. I mean, it sucks because it's actually being pulled back on what we're used to now. We've played the game for, what, a month? We're used to a certain set standard. That's being drawn back so I can understand why players are unhappy about that. But that doesn't bug me the most. What bugs me the most is resistance is being still broken and then completely stripping us of our survivability at the same time while at the same time making enemies harder. I mean, yes, the grind needs to be probably longer. That's fair enough. But it does not need to be harder to a point of players and what they're used to with their builds and what they've worked towards for weeks now just being made to feel as squishy as heck being made to feel like their time has been wasted and that's what a lot of people are feeling in my opinion and it's the truth and it's seen by the critic score going from a nine people down to a 3.5 it's getting review it's getting bombed it really is and whether this is deserved or not whether this is justified or not it shows how upset the majority of this community is and rightfully so they should be upset and what i do further believe is that campfire chat tomorrow it will prove their intentions if their intentions were not to piss everybody off were not to upset their community they will no doubt revert or withdraw or change some of the things within that 1.1.0 patch i mean i've sat here and i thought long and hard and how I can try and defend Blizzard and their actions here with what they've done to the overall base game and it's hard for me to justify absolutely anything unless what we see within that campfire chat is them owning up to the mistakes that they have made and they plan on making changes that's all I can think of but other than that guys I think it was intentional I think they wanted to make the grind longer I think they wanted to make the game a lot harder and I think they wanted to do this because of the basis of that one percent those kids that just sit there 24 hours a day grinding the heck out of this game. Having builds most of us won't ever have because we do not play this game like they do. They cannot punish the whole community based on a small portion of that community. And that's what it's seemingly like they have done. But either way guys, we will see you with that campfire chat tomorrow. Hopefully good news comes out of it. If anything does, I'll definitely have you covered here on my channel. If it don't, you'll probably see another video of me bitching like a little girl. But hey ho, gotta keep you guys up with the latest information. But there we have it guys. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.